Uh, welcome to today's Plumbers of Data Science episode, where we are going to talk about data science, the data science business, and we're going to talk about the jobs and how basically how is a data science project um, structured and what jobs are there and how do you or what can you do in these jobs and you can ask questions anytime let me know uh, what you think and let's have a fun time today uh yeah a data science um project uh one thing that uh, i want to talk about or start to talk about is how is this set up i mean how are how 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 do you start and what phases are there um how this is going on forward and hi ankit so how does that does that work um let me bring it up so i have uh done some thinking yesterday i, I mean um basically the i the the main idea behind a data science project is that you go from uh business i mean where's my marker um you go from business to execution this is very important and so it goes from business to execution so you start with business a business idea you have some some value you want to create with it and then you go into execution and do a proof of concept or let, let's let's keep with business what you want to do is you want to uh, have somebody involved from business development who is doing business development who is has a plan how this is going to move forward this whole um thing and then you have somebody uh, who is a domain expert who is uh, a specialist. Hi, Thomas. Hi, uh, Praveen. Hi. Uh, you have a domain expert who is in this in this domain. The, the somebody who who knows it in and out and who can uh, tell basically um, what is really going on. For instance, in the sh on the shop floor or from the sales department or whatever, uh, or from from development depends on the business now you have somebody who is uh, who has a business idea where is the business going where do you want to go with the business and then you have a expert who is an expert in in the domain then what you have what you want to do is you ha are having some data and or you need some data so you need one um who can analyze data who can uh, say okay we have that data we don't have the data and who maybe can build a data catalog um, to actually catalog the data that is available so these people these three people here can talk about what's the business how, what's the 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 uh, what's the the domain behind it and how can we solve it possibly with data and then you go to execution emiliano says uh, one question i would like to be a freelance data scientist is that possible that's of course that is possible um so what you could do is you could be a a, a freelancing data uh, data scientist on the business side so you help people um get their business straight before they jump into the execution of the project this is something where people need a the help of a data scientist who can tell roughly is this even possible with data science or isn't this possible because the domain expert and the business development uh, expert they may not be the the main or the the the, the experts in what is possible with data science and then uh, what you have is uh, once the business side is okay and you know 
what business value do you want to deliver and how can you make money with it, then you are going to jump into the execution. And once you jump into execution, you are going to go through different phases. So you first of all, the first phase you are going to go through is a proof of concept phase. So you have the business set up um, here and what you're going to do is test it out. You're going to get some data or measure some data or find some data somewhere or use data that is already available and um, you're going to work with it and figure out if your, if your business idea could work with data science. And then what you do is you're going, you're going uh, into a minimum viable product phase. Let me just try to bring, bring up this. Maybe it's working now. Now it's working. Okay. Um, so basically you are in the execution and you go from proof of concept into minimum viable product. And then the minimum viable product, once you, you're building this, it's the main it has the main features that you want to offer for a customer for trying out the whole thing and, and figuring out if, if uh, the customer likes it, uh, what features does he need uh, additional and so on. And once that has that has passed or once you're you're up and running in the minimum in the with a minimum viable product then what you do is you're going to move forward into a validation phase um this here this is the this has some automation and then in the in the validation phase this has oops this has a lot of automation or fully automated. And yeah, then, then you're in the validation phase. This means usually um, all the processes are, are in place. A product is defined. Um, something you can really sell to a lot of customers and then you're going to try it out in the validation phase with a few, um, let's say a few countries. It's something like Uber. They, ca they came from the US, so you try it in the US and then you move uh, to different other com uh, countries and then you end up in the European Union and everybody is against you and so on. Doesn't matter. So um, once, once your product is validated, and you don't need to modify it anymore. And then you can go into scaling. And scaling is basically what you want to do or where you want to end because there you're, you're offering the service to a broad audience and you're getting a lot of, um, a lot of money and business. So just to quick, a quick recap, these three here for everybody who is joining hello welcome um these three here they are uh, they are doing business de business development it's on the business side you need somebody who is a expert in this field and you need a data scientist who can tell the expert uh, is does that even work does it even is it even possible to solve with data science and so that's how, how this is um, how this is starting. And then once you are once you're once you're good, you're going to execution and then um, and then you're you're going to execute the project. You're creating you're getting people and you're doing the whole thing. Um, there's a comment. Well, we should think about scaling also end phases of MVP. Of course, the the MVP is is for limited is for a very limited amount of users, and then yeah, I, I know what you mean. Um, 
the MVP is for a very limited amount of, of users and, and customers. And then the validation is a, a form of scaling. But what I mean with, with scaling is um, you are you are uh, you rolling that out it's it's the the how you execute the whole thing rolling it out worldwide because everything is in place everything is fully automated through the validation phase all the processes are done and or are in place and so on so everything is up and running and everything is good that's the main idea then um what is going to happen is now uh, in each of these phases here you need people right and what people do you do you need here who is going to do all this uh, all this work uh like it says have seen mvp going for years <laughs> yeah that's that's mostly this is this is always the case because um to go from to to go to to do this uh this uh to go from one stage to the other there's a lot of work in place so this this needs work and this needs money and this needs people i mean work and people is yeah it's a lot of work to go from one one phase to the other therefore you need people and then you also need money to basically do the scaling and if you get bogged down and if you don't have the resources necessary you will starve here and then you can't go forward or you are going to starve here or worst case you do a proof of concept um but you can never go to minimum viable product because you need a few people and you never get those people so that's that's always possible and can happen so very annoying <laughs> you get the idea i think we should how many data points are available for training data in order to give uh, to have good business case uh now th this is this is completely this is the proof of concept phase this is for proof of concept business is business and business the left side here that is here's the data scientist can give some some uh let's say make some sense or 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 yeah find out if in a ballpark this is this is um is viable but uh, the whole if you, you have training data or or um um validation data that comes in the proof of concept phase so uh yeah ah oh, man let me just I forgot to answer answer Emiliano's question. Emiliano, are, are you still here? Emiliano? Can you quickly write in the chat if you're still here, then I um, I can try and and quickly answer your question. Hmm. Okay, it doesn't matter. I just I'm going to I'm just going to answer Emiliano's um, Emiliano's question. So the thing is, where can you as a as a um, as a data scientist who is doing freelance work, where can you work here? You can work on the business side. You can also work in the proof of concept side, so that you help uh, while you're while the execution is running and you're doing basically freelance work for the execution but that's not always very um very easy because what you usually want to do is you would want to have a team of data scientists in house so they can they can work and do the the whole thing how is this now 
working when you look at the at the faces. Um, on the left side, you have the you have the proof of concept here. Uh, let's do it this way: proof of concept, MVP, validation, and scaling. These are the the three phases. Let's do one, two, three, and four. And who do you need here? You could say, if you want to start with the minimum, minimum, you could in the proof of concept, you could say, okay, I'm I'm getting a research data scientist here. That's a data scientist uh, who who can this one can work on algorithms. Um, and he's he's good in. Yeah, in doing and in, in handling data. And he can basically make sense out of data and try to figure out your business proposal if this is uh, doable with all the data you have. In the proof of concept, what you could also do is you could could get in a a platform architect or a data engineer who is building a a proof of concept platform but that that's not always uh, not always needed maybe sometimes it makes sense but it doesn't always uh, is not always needed uh, so what you have is your then you have your minimum minimum viable product phase and in this phase you need definitely to, you need to build something you need to build something and who are you uh, using to build this whole stuff you are going to at least here get on board and 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 bring on board a data or a platform architect because you are somewhere you need to run the whole thing then you need uh, to get data engineers who are building the pipelines who are making uh, who are building APIs, who are building the pipelines on top of the data platform, or you need uh, system admins who are setting up the data platform. And basically you, you build the whole thing. You build the whole thing. With these, you get the platform here. And what you can also do is you could get uh, you can or you should get more data scientists because the work is going to go up you need to do more work you need to also do some uh, some um, sort you need to get into automation uh, you need to automate parts of the whole thing and so you need more data scientists that can do this and of course throughout the whole thing you need um you need support of the business business needs to needs to support the whole thing because without the business uh yeah you're not going to be very happy um you're not going to be very happy and 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 have a good end <laughs> here so this, these are the people that that you have here, and the the, the data scientists here, they can be um, they can be different than the research data scientists. They are they can be the guys who are, uh, let's say, applying apply um, standard standards or or, or li libraries standard libs. Uh, this this is the guy who who is uh, these are the people who are finding out what is going to what is what is happening here or what do the, what do you need and these then apply the the whole thing makes makes sense right does it make let's start the recording again okay maybe it's working now maybe not we're going to see um yeah so what's going on here let's let's get back in the groove so what what have we 
Um, thanks for all the emojis. Uh, so what have we talked about? Let's quickly recap for everybody who is who is uh, joining again. Uh, we have been talking about about this. We have been talking about proof of concept, uh, a data science project. You have the proof of concept phase, where you have a research data scientist who who uses the the business idea and validates basically the business idea. Does the business idea really work? Does the data uh, is the is the data enough to support this business idea? And once once you know that that's enough, that's good. Then what you do is you move forward. Um, either you start in the proof of concept phase, you already start building something. This is also possible, or you just um, you're just going to. Uh, do the data, let the data scientists lose and figure this out. And then in the next phase, the minimum viable product phase, you're going to build a minimum viable product with minimum support for the business idea. And then once you're here, you have a platform, the platform architect built something with the system admins. You have a data engineer who can do the pipelines. You have more data scientists who can apply standard libraries and do automation. You're going into the validation phase. Ooh. And and then um, what? I'm not connected with you. How do I turn off? Please, I happen to have a lot of business to do and your voice keeps coming over what I'm trying to say. Other people, I'm not trying to be rude. Uh, block me. So it's fine. Just go to my profile, it says uh, say block and then I'm completely gone. Um, and you can unblock me. If you are interested in what I'm doing, you can unblock me later. I don't know this LinkedIn feature. I have no idea how LinkedIn is doing all, all this. So let's quickly continue. Um, where was I? I was here, validation. Well, well, then you're in the validation phase. And what you now need to do in the validation is, first of all, you need to build more build more automation in this so this here you need a data a machine learning engineer or it would be good if you have a machine learning engineer who can basically automate all this or help automate this is a this is a linux uh, specialist a, a tool specialist and basically specialized for um automating analytics functions that might not be already automated uh, in the MVP phase. Then you need some DevOps engineers who can basically do continuous integration, continuous deployment, set this up and basically help you to update new stuff or bring new stuff in production or bring updates in production efficiently. Of course, always the business is always important business needs to always support this because in each phase you need to sell something so you have then the machine learning and the devops engineer then you what you're going to do is you're going to start scaling and in the next phase you're going to roll this out and then you, then comes more you need more business insight if you don't already have a data analyst here who is going to look at um yeah cloud uh, it's uh system admin could also be a cloud engineer i mean this is these are these are the people who are working with the servers who who are setting up the so this is for me um let's let's mark it here cloud engineer
Um, and then you're going, once, once all this is done, everything is automated and you have, uh, you have DevOps running and you can e very easily bring in new features and, uh, or, or bring in updates, put them in production, manage the analytics, then you're ready. And the business is also on par with this. And then you're ready to scale and then you're going to go out and, and go big. You know, so that would be my, my thought on this. I'm an idiot. I forgot to go live on, on YouTube. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to quit this, this dual streaming. It's annoying. Um, yeah, some, some more questions about this. Uh, who's still here, who has some questions about all this, we can talk about all this, either this or I'm going to end the stream and go to bed annoyed because all these technical problems are uh, annoying. Where can a fresher from VTech graduate start with? Um, I mean, for for a for a newcomer, there are there are a lot of roles here for a newcomer. I would say um, these data scientists here, these these are these are new can be newcomer here. Newcomer, these here, um, data engineer that can also be a newcomer who can help with pipelines. Uh, but you always need some some uh, experienced workers. Um, also, working on automation of the machine learning stuff that can be a newcomer. So it's it's possible. It's always possible to do this and and get into this. Of course, data analysts. Yeah, I'm, I mean. Hmm. Hmm. That's, that's it's also it's also possible, but I'm I'm not a data analyst specialist. I mean, for data analyst, I'm guessing you also need some uh, some domain knowledge. And basically, for what types of KPIs are you creating or? or calculating and how does that fit to the data and so on so i'm not sure if that is a newcomer position mm -hmm. I, I'm, I don't know uh what are challenges in the early phases related to non-profit or government versus for-profit uh early phases, non-profit, government versus for-profit. Huh. I, I don't know, don't know. I don't know. I haven't worked with non-profits or for a non-profit or for, for a government, so Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, Ellen. I'm sorry. Don't know this. Um, for scale, don't get it. You don't get it. I mean, this scaling here, this is, <laughs> let's call this world domination. So you need more of these, more of everyone and uh, more business support and more data 
analysts who are creating, who are calculating KPIs and working, helping move the business along, move the uh, or, or yeah, further the business. And so, yeah, that's that's basically where I'm going with this. This is what I mean by scaling. It's it's uh, the next step from validating the whole thing and and doing uh, new, another modifications from it. You're going full in, and maybe from a from a government's point of view, this could be. You could have maybe you have more resources or you get easier resources. I don't know. Mm. Mm. It's, it's interesting thought. I don't know. Yeah, the ML engineers. Well, it's it's always. I mean, it's the it's ML engineer is just a name. I mean. Uh, it's it's a bit newer uh it's a let's say it's a it's a bit of a different f difference from a data scientist uh, you could also call him data scientist but this guy is is uh, this one is more uh, about automation it's is more about or, uh, or fixed about automation and uh, and uh, analytics pipelines. And uh, tools. And this, uh, the, the data scientist, he is very, uh, he, ha he is concerned with data, with algorithms. With with creating, creating output, let's say, with, or or models. I would, I would say this is a how I, uh, this is how I would describe this, and uh, change this. What courses must a fresher do in this field to start with? Any short-term courses um, I suggest and how to get experience if such job aren't available for freshers. So uh, the, the, the thing you always need to, need to keep in mind, you cannot go into uh, highly skillful jobs right from university. That absolutely makes no sense. You don't have the skills. You don't have the practical skills. You you have theory, but you have no practical skills to do it. So you need to have you need to gain experience. Gain experience by going into entry jobs. Junior data scientist, junior data engineer. Um, yeah, th those are more or less the 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 ones I if you I suggest. And what do you need to do? I would, uh, as I said in, in, in many streams, I would, I would start and I would focus on certain technologies, certain tools you like, something uh, how you can store data, something how you can process data, um, maybe visualize and build a, a, a processing pipeline for instance as a data engineer how you can uh, or how you can uh, uh, solve a problem and document this and learn from it and then you apply for a job and you link to this content for instance on github and show people you have tried some stuff because every you can try everything from home you need a, a okay computer to do everything I would say with my streaming rig, I could do this, and this thing costs has cost five hundred dollars. So I'm, I'm, I think this is this would be absolutely fine. And 
Yeah, also as a, like a data scientist, you can do you can do online courses. That's that's also okay. But if you come from a university, um, you need to gain experience as a junior data scientist. And to get a job as a junior data scientist or get easier a job, is to um, do some stuff of your own. It's very easy. You can try stuff out. You can uh, use a simple example. A very simple um, example that a lot of people have done, and you add to it and try different things, and gain experience for yourself. Do this, I don't know, a few months, and the the main thing is you need to document this, and then you should be you should be okay. Then you should get into a um, into a data or into a junior role. And from there you can grow. From there you can learn, you can gain experience how to work as a data scientist, as a data engineer, as machine learning engineer, whatever, DevOps engineer. And then, yeah, grow on it. Okay, okay. Um, by the way, if you like this stream and you want to support what I do, you can support me. Um, where is it? <laughs> I closed it again. You can support me on Patreon. I have a Patreon Patreon setup um, where you can support these streams, help me uh, fund this thing, and if if I'm I'm going to be happy. If not all good i'm going to be here next time on monday or earlier depends on how uh how many topics i have and because usually this is fun if i don't have technical problems and uh it's not a struggle like this one so yeah thanks for watching and goodbye bye bye